Hello YouTube and uh, welcome to another tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial we are going to create a web application um, using HTML, CSS and JavaScript and some jQuery, not a lot. Um, we're going to create uh, the tic-tac-toe game from a free code camp um, challenge. And so just like all the challenges that they have, you start by reading the... actually you start by watching the video. It will, it'll save you a lot of time um, ne next, you have to read the requirements um, and user stories for the application. And uh, for this one, they only have three user stories. The first one is that uh, you should be able to play against the computer. That's the user story number one. The second one is that the game has to restart itself once the, um, the game is over. And uh, finally, uh, you, you, uh, the user should be able to use whether it wants to play as X or as O. And so, and next they tell you to um, do, uh, use the read search as methodology, which basically, um, you know, use Google to search and read uh, any documentation that you need. And uh, if you get stuck, head over to the forums and uh, ask some questions. And so this this is the one that I created, and uh, we're going to aim for something similar without the header and the um, titles. Um, mainly, we are going to focus on the functionality of the game itself. And so notice that I have two checkboxes. The user should be able to select uh, whether it wants to play as X or as O's. And uh, one thing I didn't. Um, comply with was the fact that I added a reset um, game button uh, so the user has to reset the game instead of the game resetting itself every time someone wins the game so uh, you select a X or O and then you start playing and notice the computer uh, plays right after and as soon as someone wins it will let you know and uh, you click OK and Reset the game. I'm going to select O, and uh, pretty much is the same. And so that's it. And uh, we are going to aim for something similar. Um, so I'm going to um, open a a code pen. Uh, by the way, I'm using code pen dot io, and so I'm going to title the pen uh, tic tac. So version 2, in, the, in this section we are going to do mainly the HTML. Uh, the HTML is really not that difficult, it's mainly uh, memorization. Uh, you have to memorize all the tags and uh, in the next section we are going to do the styling using CSS. So I'm going to start by creating a div and I'm going to uh, give it a class of uh, container. Next, I'm going to close the div. Next, I'm going to create another div. I'm going to give this one a class of header. And I'm also going to close that div. Next, I'm going to create. By the way, it's a good. Um, it's a good thing to do to. Um, to comment the code as you go by because later on you go back to the code and you really don't know what you did or what session is uh, you know doing what so I'm going to uh, say other yeah, section although some of this stuff is uh, you know self-explanatory self, self uh, I'm going to create another div I'm going to give this one a class of um, controls as I intend to put the checkboxes inside. Also comment this one. Next, I'm going to write another comment. And in this section, I'm going to start um, 
entering the HTML uh, element for the uh, board. So I'm going to say board container. I'm going to create a div class container. I'm going to close that div. And next I'm going to start doing um, the board. So the way I did the board, I created three divs in columns. So I'm going to say div class row. And this, con this div will contain the first three elements in the in the first row. So I'm going to say div class square as it is a square one and I'm going to close that div. So I'm going to put an X just to visualize um, what I'm doing and I'm going to copy and paste three times that did. And I'm going to place a comment here that says first row. And then I'm going to copy and paste two more times the code. And I'm going to say third row and second row. And uh, next I'm going to give a, an ID to every single uh, div that makes a square. And I will explain later why. Uh, but basically it's to identify one uh, square from, from the other one. Every single square needs to be unique. Um, and uh, later on you uh, realize why uh, when we start doing the um, JavaScript functionality. So I'm going to give this one a class, I'm sorry, an ID of 1. Actually, there's an easier way to do this. Pressing the control key and selecting all the places that you want to edit. It makes it a lot easier. And so I'm going to say ID equals 2. And uh, next I'm going to say this one is 3, this one is 4, 5, 6, and you get the picture. In 9, as we have 9 squared. So, and that's it for the board. Uh, obviously, if you look at the, uh, the rendering on the HTML page, we have a bunch of X uh, uh, lined up vertically, which, which uh, you know, later on, as we do the styling, uh, the board uh, will start taking shape. So next we're going to give uh, a, a title in the header section. So we're going to use H1, and now we're going to say something like tic tac to. And uh, for the Controls, uh, let's say um, page two, you're playing against the computer, choose X or O's. And uh, we're going to close the H3 tag. Next, I'm going to create um, two forms for the checkboxes. Next, one, next, I'm going to create this section over here. And I'm going to say action equals an ampersand, actually a pound sign. And I'm going to close the form. Within the form, I'm going to create two input boxes, two input elements. And I don't remember exactly um, the input element, all the um, 
tags that it needs. So an excellent resource for anything uh, web development, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, it's uh, w3schools.com. You come over here and uh, you can pretty much find anything related to web development. So I'm going to click on the search box and I'm going to say HTML uh, input checkbox. I'm going to press enter and I'm going to click on the first result and uh, it'll take me right there. So this is uh, the basic input. So I'm going to jack it right out of here. Uh, you, you're not supposed to know everything uh, by by memory unless you write this um, by hand every single day or every two or three days. It's just basically impossible. So there, there's, there you're going to come across a, an element, an HTML element that you just don't remember. And uh, there's nothing wrong with uh, searching or finding the answer. So I'm going to copy it here, Ctrl V. And uh, I'm going to uh, type, I'm going to leave it as checkbox for the name. I'm going to call this one X player. And for the value, I'm going to give it a value of X. And I'm going to say X player. And then I'm going to create another input box. And this one I'm going to call it O player. And I'm going to give it a value of O. And I'm going to write O player. If I can write correctly. And I'm going to take out this uh, space. And uh, I'm going to give this input uh, an ID, actually class, of checkbox. And I'm going to also this, give this one a class of checkbox. Sometimes I forgot to um, control select and uh, save typing, but uh, it's something that uh, goes along with working, uh, getting experience with working with a specific uh, editor. So, notice what we have so far. Um, we have the title, we have the um, uh, the, a, uh, the H2, H, yeah, H, H3 element, um, telling the user whether um, that, you sh that it's going to play with the computer and to select X or O. And uh, next we are going to style uh, the page. So I'm going to head over, that's it for the HTML section. I'm going to stop right here and then on the next part I'm going to do the styling.